What is the best way to protect your eyes and keep them healthy if you have diabetes? In this episode of OcuTalk, Dr. Margaret Moore will be telling us all about diabetic eye disease, the different ways it can manifest, symptoms to look for, treatment options, and the importance of preventative measures for your eyes. Dr. Moore? I want to talk to you. Not now, later. No, now. My name's Nick, and today we have a very special guest joining us. Please welcome Dr. Moore. Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us for a brand new episode of OcuTalk. My name's Nick, and today we have a very special guest joining us. Everyone, please welcome Dr. Margaret Moore. Dr. Moore, thank you so much for joining us today. Hi, Nick. Thanks for having me. Well, uh, it's a pleasure to have you here, Dr. Moore. Thank you for joining us. We know you're very busy. Uh, so before we get uh, going with our conversation, Dr. Moore, I was hoping that you can introduce yourself to our audience. Uh, just let them know a little bit about your background and your specialty. Hi, I'm Dr. Margaret Moore, and I'm a residency trained optometrist specializing in ocular disease and low vision. I practice with a large ophthalmology optometry group across three offices in the New Haven, Connecticut area. I attended the University of Notre Dame for undergrad and the Ohio State University for my optometry degree. I completed my residency at the West Haven VA Medical Center here in Connecticut in 2019. I also became a fellow of the American Academy of Optometry in 2019, and I now serve on the board of directors for the Connecticut Association of Optometrists. I love eye care. I love talking about eyeballs, and I'm excited to be here. So thank you, Nick. Well, that, that was an excellent introduction, Dr. Moore. Thank you so much again for joining us today. Uh, so for our discussion, we were hoping that you could talk to us a little bit about diabetic eye disease. And so for our viewers who are watching who don't know, uh, what is diabetic eye disease? So diabetes is itself a disease, of course, and diabetic eye disease is any negative effect that can arise in the eyes as a result of having diabetes. Unfortunately, diabetic eye disease is the most common cause of legal blindness in working age adults in the United States, but luckily most of these cases can be prevented with proper care. Well, fantastic. And um, how can you tell if diabetes is affecting your eyes? Well, sometimes you can and sometimes you really can't. This is why it's super important whether you have diabetes or not to have regular comprehensive eye exams whether you're diabetic or not, so that a doctor can tell you whether there is something wrong with your eyes and provide treatment right away if there is something wrong. Well, gotcha. And uh, you said sometimes you can, sometimes you can't. Uh, so what maybe are signs or symptoms that someone should be on the lookout for that maybe they think like, hey, uh, I need to go see, see, see Dr. Moore? Yeah, good question. Uh, so one of the big ones that we see in uh, blossoming diabetic eye disease is vision fluctuation, especially if it tends to occur right after you have a big meal. High blood sugar can cause the natural lens inside the eye to swell, which can effectively make you a little more nearsighted and it tends to come and go. Otherwise, any new symptoms are important to get checked out, whether you have distortion in your vision, any sort of pain in or around your eyes, anything weird going on with the eyes is important to get checked out. I have had patients who've come in just to update their glasses, just thinking, hey, I need an update, my lenses, and end up having diabetic eye disease, not even knowing that they have diabetes. So it's really important to get any changes checked out. Oh, that is definitely important to get your eyes checked out. Thank you for that information, Dr. Moore. And uh, so what can happen to your eyes if you do have diabetes? Like, what are the potential effects uh, on our eyes or con to conditions that can maybe develop with this? So in short, diabetes can contribute to everything from eye dryness all the way up to blindness. Luckily, most patients who have diabetes won't develop serious eye-threatening disease, but when it does develop, it can be silent at first. So you may not know that there's any trouble brewing in the back of your eye. Gotcha, excellent information, Dr. Moore. And um, how, do, how do doctors diagnose eye problems from diabetes? How, how, does, how, do, how does that happen in your office? 
The first step to being screened for diabetic eye disease is to have a regular dilated eye exam with an optometrist or a general ophthalmologist. Depending on what your eye looks like, they may order an additional test called an OCT or optical coherence tomography, which allows for more in-depth viewing of the retina that may detect very subtle signs of disease that we may not be able to see on a regular eye exam. If your eye doctor thinks that you have more serious retinal disease, they may refer you to a retina specialist who has additional ways to evaluate the back of the eye. Fantastic. And uh, so we talked about how this can affect someone's eye. Uh, we talked about your diagnosing process. Uh, so I wanted to ask you, so what are the treatment options that are available for this? So generally, most patients with mild to moderate diabetic retinopathy don't receive any treatment other than observation and, of course, trying to work as hard as you can to keep your blood sugar under control. We'll probably watch these patients every 6 to 12 months to watch for any development of further eye disease and address it as soon as possible if anything new does arise. Patients with more advanced diabetic retinopathy, such as new blood vessels growing in the retina or edema in the macula, which is swelling, may end up needing injections in the eyes to prevent further blood vessels from growing, or sometimes a retina specialist may consider placing a laser treatment. Not all diabetic eye disease can be fixed, so it's very, very important to try to prevent it before it arises. Fantastic information, Dr. Moore. Thank you for that. And so uh, you've talked earlier about, you know, just having a regular eye, eye routine to make sure that we're keeping everything on board. Uh, so I wanted to ask you, like, what advice would you give patients with like diabetic eye disease or uh, diabetes regarding like a, a regular eye care routine? Um, and how often should they be able to visit their eye care professionals? Uh, so I usually recommend yearly eye exams for patients with diabetes, but ask that they call right away if they notice anything new, anything weird with their eyes or with their vision so that we can see them right away, like I said, and address any issues right away. Um, but also just day to day, it's important to wear good sunglasses whenever you go outside. So any sunglasses that have 100% UVA and UVB protection doesn't always have to be something fancy unless that's what you want. It's also important to address the front surface of the eye. So patients with diabetes are more likely to have inflammation and dryness on the front surface of the eye. So things like using a good quality artificial tear at least a couple times a day is important. And a lot of patients with diabetes also have something called blepharitis, so inflammation of the eyelids. And for that, I usually recommend using a good quality eyelid scrub at least once a day. And those are just over the counter and you can find them in the same section as the artificial tears in the store. Well, fantastic. And uh, so Dr. Moore, uh, are there any, I know you talked about it a little bit before, but I wanted to kind of go in a little more in depth into it and maybe ask you, uh, are, are there any preventative measures that individuals with diabetes can take to prevent any eye care disease, like developing any, any worse? Yeah, great question. So prevention is always going to be our best treatment option. The best way to prevent diabetic eye disease is to manage your diabetes as well as possible, to do everything that your primary care providers and your endocrinologists say to do, including medication and lifestyle recommendations. When I'm telling my patients that the best defense against diabetic eye disease is to manage their diabetes well, I always acknowledge the fact that diabetes is not an easy condition to have or to manage. To stick to a good diet, regular exercise, good sleep habits, it sounds easy, but actually doing that every day, all the time, is a challenge and, and diabetes is, is not an easy thing to live with. So it is really important, it can be done, hang in there, and that's the most important thing we can do to perfect your vision over time. Well, excellent, Dr. Moore, thank you for that. Um, and so with, in regarding uh, diabetic eye disease or anything, uh, are, are there any new technologies or developments regarding diabetic eye disease or anything else that you can, you can uh, let our audience know about? Yeah, so like I mentioned, I, I love eye care. I love all the new things are always coming out in the eye care space. There's always something developing, something in the pipeline. Sometimes we have to be patient and, and wait at least a few years for it to actually be commercially available to us. 
Uh, there are some studies looking at the potential for topical treatment of proliferative diabetic retinopathy, which if successful would mean that some patients who are receiving injections in their eyes for this particular condition or who may need injections in the eyes we might be able to start treatment topically. So just with an eye drop instead of an eye injection, which would be a big game changer for a lot of people. I don't anticipate that it would be a complete replacement for injections that we currently do, but crossing fingers that someday we'll at least have one option other than injections for some patients. Well, fantastic. We'll definitely be on the lookout for that. And uh, before we leave today, Dr. Moore, was there anything else that you'd like to let our audience know about? Uh, yeah, just in general for any patients with diabetes or just, just any patients in general who are nervous about visiting their eye doctor. Uh, some people are hesitant to come see their eye doctor because they're afraid of what you might say, that they have some sort of vision threatening disease, that there's something wrong with the eyes. You haven't been in in five years and we're going to scold you, but just know that we want to help you. If something is wrong, we want to find it right away. We don't want you to wait to come in for us to find something that maybe might be past the point of treatment. Only about 20% or less of people with diabetes actually end up with serious eye disease. So it's a small chance that you will develop some sort of sight-threatening condition with your diabetes. But again, if something is going to develop, we really want to see you sooner rather than later. So don't be nervous. Come and see us. Well, that's definitely excellent advice, Dr. Moore. Uh, everyone, that was Dr. Margaret Moore. Dr. Moore, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me, Nick.